Alright, so welcome back to Sniper Elite 3. Uh, in the previous part, we destroyed the first artillery in Hellfire Pass. This one, we're going to go for the rest of the other two um, artilleries. So we've got the closest one is 300 meters that way. So let's get down from this um, hilly bit. And maybe as well loot a few corpses on the way. Hopefully get some more pistol bullets. Picked up a couple from um, the corpses we destroyed on the artillery. We were down to six at one point, now we're up to nine. I think we can still loot one more corpse here. Okay, we've got some sniper ammo. Okay, so I think they might... Let's just check the map a second. Yeah, there's a pass that way. So we need to go through this passway up, up just in front of us. Stick to the left of it, follow it round to the right, and then go back around to the left again. Okay. So, let's keep the snipe, the pistol handy for the moment. Because who knows who's creeping around here. Am I going the right way? Let me just quickly check. I am. I'm going to keep my heart rate nice and low as well. To keep some steady aim. Okay, so... Let's get to the edge of this. Oh, there's an enemy right there. That's too far for a pistol shot, a precise shot, you know, and hope we'll get a headshot. So, um, leave that guy for the moment, just have him marked. I might jump in the window if it's possible. And take him out, we can go on the roof. We also need a sound masking. Might be close enough now for a headshot. If he stays still, we'll take him out. He's, do he's doing some acrobatics. Let's leave him alone for now. Because I want to get in a position where I can um, get my binoculars out and scout out as many sol soldiers as possible. There's two over there. Okay, so we've got them two marked. There's one over there. Oh, there's a guy on this roof here. Crap. He could have been looking right at me. So there's quite a bunch of them around here. I think we're just looking to pass through this area though. We're not looking to get into the middle. So we'll just check the map. Yeah, we can just head around the edges, hopefully. Head on this high ridge. We don't need to worry about them too much. As like we're not going for any like extra collectibles that may be in the middle of this map or you know, looting any extra ammo of any kind. We're just happy to pass these guys and there's a generator here we can sabotage and use it as a sound masking. I might do that. May as well do that. I'm just going to take this guy out with a pistol out first. Maybe jump across and knife him. Let's do that. Let's knife him. Yep. Close quarter takedown. So let's sabotage this because there might be a few enemies ahead on the path that we need to take out from this distance. So let's sabotage this. I wouldn't smash my elbow into it. I'd use the like the bottom of my rifle thing because you know this could hurt yourself. Okay, we got some more trip mine trip mines there. Let's get a sniper rifle out. We might be have something we can um someone's people we can shoot there. Okay, so this guy is on the opposite Oh god, just spot me there. So if you stand up straight, do you have a good distance of view on you? So let's take out these guys, because um you know, if we're heading across, they might see us. So I don't think this guy's moving. So next time he... There we go. Obstructed. Stand up for it. Still got him. We just have to stand up for a second. Make sure to crouch now. Crouch. Okay, we got promoted with that headshot. We unlocked the Carcano, and trip mines unlocked in the, you know, the, where you can equip them before the mission. I think, is a Carcano a rifle? There's a, an enemy over there. Let's just get as many kills as we can, actually, while we're next to this generator, because you never know where the next one's going to be. Is the generator dead? Do I have to hit it again? I think it's just... It's, it only lasts for a short amount of time, which is um, a shame. Okay, 
So we're not going to take any more sniper shots then. Hello? Ooh, hello. Someone just, uh, someone just made a noise. I think it's a guy on the floor below me. How did he hear that? Let's get back on the ladder, I think, because I think we can still go across more on the ridge. Okay, so we've got this guy patrolling towards us. Just gotta be careful now. Okay, we got him. It's all clear. With that as well, you gotta be careful. You gotta either shoot him before he actually spots you, or just after he spots you, because his head like wiggles about as he kind of double takes at your, you know, person. So you gotta make that shot count. Let's search this guy's corpse. Oh, what's this? Got a part, weapon part unlocked. So let's jump, let's climb down this ladder this time, instead of jumping, because we alerted someone last time. Doesn't look like there's anyone in this building. At least there's no one on the map. And we're going to have to make our way down this way, because we can't go any further on the ridge. So let's creep out of this. Just keep an eye on the corners of the screen, make sure there's no yellow markers filling up. There's one over there, I'm thinking he might have spotted a body. Which is okay for now, because we're not in that, that area anymore. I don't think, I think you actually have to see someone face with your eyes for to appear on the minimap. I'm not sure though. Okay, so we're sneaking around these trucks. Do, 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 do. There's a guy up there, he's walking away around to the other side of the building. Which is fine for now. We can still sneak through this. Where's the objective? I'm not seeing any objectives on the actual screen. I think we still have to go through this way and then cave round to the left. It's the only way through. Let me just go on prone and look at the map a second. Yeah. So we need to go all the way around here. And go to the left again. Get binoculars out. There's a guard right there. Is he talking to someone? I heard a voice. Guy out of the up there. Guy there. Make sure he's marked. I had marked him there for a sec. Not seeing anyone else from where I'm sta sitting. Okay, so we got this one guy here. I think we might be able to go behind this rock and take him out with a knife. As long as he's got no friends looking at him. I wish you could move quicker, crouched. Okay, so he's just here. Looks like he's... He is... Oh, there's a guy opposite him. But he's not really looking. He might... There's another guy there. Okay, there's so many guys. I'm going to go on the other side of this rock. And throw an actual rock. On that side. And then get in cover. And when he goes over there, I'll take him out with a knife. Because that way he's further away from that other soldier's um, eyesight. So he doesn't see me. Don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around. Thank you. You hear the sound. Yeah, the sound of a knife going into his own neck. What do we get? We got some pistol bullets, which is always good. We just I don't think we go into the east over that side. No, so we're just trying to stick to the wall as much as we can. We don't need to go worry about enemies on the other side unless we kind of feel like going on a massive kill streak. Which is not what we're doing. Let's mark this guy. Let's quickly check again. This is the way. Yeah, it is. It looks like the star, though, is actually off the map. So I'm not too sure how I'm actually going to get the shot on this. Or, you know, actually physically get to it to blow it up. Maybe I'm going to need to um, shoot my sniper shot at something explosive that's near it. There's going to be a bunch of guys around here, isn't there? I can feel it. I can't get to the next one. I'll have to shoot from this side of the canyon. Yep. I'm wondering why the um, objectives aren't shown on the map anymore. I'm kind of just following them off of actual map. I can't see them on the screen. Normally, you know the way you can see all the markers on the screen. You can't see the objectives anymore. Which is a bit... gay. 
Oh, there we go. I pressed the touchpad and he appeared. You can turn him off and on with the touchpad. So which one are we heading towards? The one that's that way. Okay, so it looks like there's something explosive there. I think that that's the artillery going all the way over there. But I need to get a bit closer, get a bit more height and stuff. And I need to keep an eye out for any um, speaker, you know, markers on the map. Oh, there's one over there. I think it's the car again. It's making a noise. I'm not too sure if I can get the shot, though, on the artillery from there. Okay, there's one up here. I see it on the map. So that's good. That's really good. Before we sabotage this, I want to make sure on the shot first as well, because... There's a guy there. What you doing? He just turned this way, so if he turns the other way... I'm going to walk a bit closer and take the shot instead of risking missing. Let's just shoot him now. Yeah, that was a dead set shot because he was staying still. You know, on the rest of it. Okay. So let's just search this guy into sniper nest. What does that mean? Before we do that, I'm just going to... What does sniper nest mean? Does it give me a better... Okay, so it's like this This is where the game wants you to take the shot pretty much. So we got explosives there. Uh, is, is that this is a truck it looks like? There's the artillery there. I don't think that's an explosive marker. Okay, so we need to use this anyway to obstruct it. Let's just get the sniper rifle out a second. And I will actually move a bit closer. Yeah, so I think that's not red anymore. I think when you look through binoculars, things that you can blow up do appear red. Those barrels are red as well. So let's um, sabotage this thing, and we'll take maybe we'll take one shot as well, with obviously, and then say if that doesn't work, we'll still be able to take another shot because the enemies not won't know, know, know where the shots come from. So what we need to do is actually destroy the gun. We don't need the enemies to stay in the same place. Let's move a bit closer. So let's try shooting the um, the red crate first. So we shot that. There we go. Got it in one. That's how you snipe. Okay, so people are probably alerted over there, but over here, no one is any any more wise of what's just happened. Okay, so we're done in this section. Let's just get the map out one more time. Now we need to head on more north, and um, let's just get our binoculars out a second, because we need to clear a path now to kill the rest of the enemies to um, progress. There's not quite a lot of enemies in this area though, I can't actually see anyone. There's one right there saying that. Let's snipe this guy. Just because we can. Not seeing anyone else. So I'm going to creep on. Which way can I go? There's a little passageway you can go through there. Just in front of me. I'm going to take that, I think. Okay, there's definitely no one here. They give you a lot of um, sound masking um, options there. When Especially when there's no enemies. It's weird. Let me just check the map one more time. We're heading in the right direction. Yes, we are. That's probably another sniper nest to the, um, the left on this passageway. But we need to head back to the right to um, loop back into the way to go to the next objective. It's 300 meters away. Which is quite far when you're stealthing around. There's an enemy there. Let's keep our pistol ready. I don't think there's anyone around that corner. I think there's two guards here. This one's walking around this corner. Let's just knife him. Because I think his mate is looking outwards. And he probably doesn't turn around. Yeah, his mate's just sitting there. Let's take him out anyway. Because the less enemies in, in the total map. It's just the safer I feel. 
So we could have also shot from here, but we didn't have a sound mask here. But if you take out the enemies, there's no need to mask the sound because, you know, the enemies in the area, that the nearest enemies won't be able to hear the shot anyway. So let's just keep going this way. Check the map one more time. Okay, we're still going this way. These missions last forever when you did them properly. Because you can play this game just by running and gunning and sniping, but it's just not the way the game is meant to be played. The game gives you all these tools of distractions, you know, explosives to plant and use later on. Sniping and you know, masking shots. So I'm going to use as much as the game gives me before I just kind of go with the general shoot away of just shooting anything that moves. So we mark that guy. There's another guy on that same rooftop. We might not need to kill them because oh, he's not on the rooftop, the guy's just on the, the ledge near it. So if he starts spotting us we need to go and prone, which he's not. He's also dropping down. Just quickly check the map. Okay, so we want to stay to the left, and there is a that compass looking thing there, that sabotage. I think that's just an optional objective, which I'm going to avoid. I'm going to hope as well that there's no one actually on this thing I climb up on top of. There's a ledge there, so it's fine. There's a, there's a sniper there, looks like he stays in the same spot. So we can climb over to the side of him, take him out. Yeah, he's just flicking side to side as he's um, scouting around. We just knife him in the back. No one else is watching us, is there? Nope. Search his corpse. We've got some, one more pistol bullet. We've got this thing we can sabotage there to make some shots. But to be honest, we're leaving this area right now. So we don't need to do that. I'm not going to go for the optional objectives. We're just going to do a story playthrough. Focus on the main primary missions. I might make um, additional videos doing the optional objectives if people want to see it. It's probably part of the 100% to get every optional objective out of the way. Let's mark him. Mark them trucks, why not? Don't really need to, but you know, I, was, I was looking at them anyway. Okay. I think the mission so far has lasted about 40, 45 minutes. Each of these I'm probably going <laughs> to limit myself to doing one mission a day in terms of recording, just because of how long they are. You know, normally a mission in most games takes 15 minutes, and this they're taking like over an hour. Okay, so we've marked these three guys here. We need to get past them. We'll creep on to these two guys in the middle there on the left. It looks like they stay still, they're not patrolling. This guy on the right patrols, so we'll just slowly work our way across. Um, when he turns away, we'll get up like this. And I might, uh, when he comes back and stops again, we'll take him out and then we'll take out the other two guys as well. There's no one else in this area, I don't think. Because I'm going to take these guys out, at least the first, the back two, because, you know, it, I need to get past them. And they're looking in the direction now I'm going to be heading. Take him out. No, his teammate is none the wiser. He's just sitting there. Got no peripheral vision. Doesn't hear his mate gargling on his own blood as, as his lungs fill up. Alright, take this guy out next. I have to spam the triangle button as well just to make sure I get the kill. I get so nervous approaching enemies, I can't just press it once when I'm in the, the best range. I spam it from like 10 foot away until I actually get close enough. You're probably hearing the button getting mashed. Okay, so we've got three guys so far in this area, which is not bad. we got a guy up there going up the tower, if we can mark him. Um, there's two more guys down there, there's one also on the gun here. So there's two there by the tent. And then what have we got on this side? Looks like we've got a little spot up there we can get a good vantage point from. That looks like the gun. Yeah, it is. There's maybe three or four guys in there. Two of them manning it, maybe one or two patrolling it. I'm going to go up this left side first, see what we've got. Hopefully we all can get like a masking sound. 
I'm not too sure that there is going to be one up here. Doesn't look like. Normally you see it on the mini map by now. Just got to check that there's no one inside this cave as well. As we walk past it. There's an enemy right there. There's two of them actually. So the guy's at the furthest part. He's walking around. And the other guy that's nearer might stand still. He doesn't patrol it looks like. There's a guy in the cave to the left, you can see him now on the minimap. I think there's also maybe a guy in the tower. So let's melee this guy. And um, get my gun. Oh, there's a distraction noise. That was the distraction of the actual artillery, isn't it? So that's that's useful. Please don't turn around too quick. Please don't turn around too quick. Thank you. Such a nice man. These people are so kind and let me just stab them in the back of the neck. Okay, so whoa, is that shooting them like out my face? <laughs> Let's mark these guys. They're not going to move. There we go, we've got a trophy there for tagging enemies. There's a guy there with a rocket launcher. That's not good. Shit, I'm getting spotted there. Let's get prone. Who's actually looking at me? I think it's a guy in the cave. He's found a body. Okay. So he's going to be walking over this way. So I went ahead too quick there. I should have been patrolling more. Taking out the rest of the enemies. Okay, so he's stopped. He's looking at the body. Can't get a shot on his head. There he is. Took his head out. Okay. So I think there's one guy in the tower. And I'm actually going to go up there with my gun ready to shoot in case. Or I'm, I think we're close enough to actually melee him from the front even if he sees us. So that's not a problem. There he is. He's got a rocket launcher. Maybe I can use the rocket launcher to shoot them. <gasps> that's what I'll do, isn't it? Oh, shit. Because, I don't know, I'm hoping that it masks the sound of rocket launchers as well. But when you think about it. But you can see the rocket coming, can't you? Okay, so we got it there. There are explosives over there. I think I'm going to shoot the explosives, actually. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a hard choice. Let's loot this guy first. Okay, let me just pick up. So that replaces my machine gun. I've got one shot, Panzer Shrek. You can't zoom in. Oh god, I'm not comfortable shooting a rocket when I've only got one shot on it. Is it worth shooting the snipers first? I might shoot the snipers first. I mean the rocket launcher guys, you know. So we shoot the sniper, the rocket launcher guys. Hopefully the enemies on the gun will not see this dead body. But if they will. Headshot, rocket man, bloody blur. No, they're none though. They didn't see it. They might see that die that guy though, because they're facing that way. I'm just gonna get the rocket launcher out, you know. Fuck it. So next shot. I wasn't ready then. Next one will take the shot. Okay, come on, come on. Ready? Shot it. Okay, we took it out. We're in cover. We killed the guys, but we don't think we took it out. I need to relocate. I think we can still head back. No one's alerted on the over there. No one cares. The objective is not complete. How does the hell? Look at them. Those guys are just mashed. Destroyed. But... That's still intact. Fuck it. We're going to shoot that and then relocate. Yeah, okay. It takes the whole thing down. Should have done that initially. Didn't, didn't though. Alright. So we tested out something that we thought could have worked. So we need to relocate now. And I don't think there's a lot of enemies that can come and find us. We've relocated. So we got to go back to um, reconvene. Looks like we can just run out actually because um, there's no one even really looking at where we are or even enemies in that area. Okay so we need to go around the left of here and just follow it around to the left. Looks like there's a path passage there we can take. 
kind of around this side. Here it is. Let's get the pistol out. While they're all scrambling around trying to figure out what just happened. Because that would have been cool if I would have shot that first of all with the mask sound as well. And they would have just thought that the sound that the cannon was making the rocks fall. Oh, tank. I could have done with that rocket launcher, couldn't I? Shit. Girls and stronger vehicles are tougher to destroy. Shoot them multiple times to expose the weak points. He said about that and in the intel that we got that they had the grills um, reinforced on tanks. Have I got to destroy that? Is that the objective? What's the objective? It's moving. Neutralize the free Panzer tanks. Oh, the Panzer free tank, that's what's called. <laughs> I thought it said to kill three of them. It's just. That's the name of the tank, okay. It's moving away. Have I got to kill it before it gets away? Or is it like just patrolling? Have we been in this area before? I think we might have, but there's no enemies marked. Can I mark you, please? Game, is say game says no. The tank's definitely moving away. Let's just mark up anyone that we can, just so we know if people are looking at us. Why is it going away? I think it's stopped now. Must have parked up. There's a tank there. Is that not the one we need to kill? Okay, there's two like parked up. So it looks like we only need to kill the one that's actually moving. Let's quickly check the map. Have we been in this area? We came up from the left hand side of this, so we're far into this side of the map. Head into a cave, so let's get the pistol out. There's some music playing. Okay. Okay, so it's coming back around to where I was, I think. So let's get into the high points up here. This is where we've got the um, thing we can sabotage to make noise. So maybe that's what it's for. There's the tank. Okay, so let's sabotage this. Okay, it's parked behind that thing now, which is a pain in the dick. That's a real pain. That's a real pain. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Let's move it again. I think I'm going to have to take this um, tank out with the dynamite. I've got one stick of dynamite and I've got one mine as well. We know now, here we go, at the back of it there, it's flashing red. So we know that's the shot we need to take. So let's move in a bit. I think I'm going to put... There is a dude spotted me. Let's just put a mine on the floor anyway. And um, just relocate. Hopefully the tank will still take this route at some point. Oh, uh, where the hell can we relocate to? My heart rate's flying through the roof as well. <laughs> let's get the machine gun out for the moment. Okay, so we're in some caves now. Might give us a chance to escape. We crouch and walk away. The enemies are searching. We've got four more meters to go to relocate. Okay, we relocated. The enemies no longer know where we are. Let's get back up to that ridge. Before anyone sees us. Hopefully the tank will stop. On the mine that I've placed. Okay, so I'm quite sure that the tank goes across that road that I just put the mine on. So let's go back up here. So there's my mine over there. Right in the middle of the road. The tank is 200 meters there. And he normally takes a counterclockwise route around this camp, like this. Around there, then back over there again, all the way around the back of this. Back through here, and then you should be landing on the mine. So, hopefully, we should land on the mine, like, soon enough. He's heading in nice and fast, down this road. There's the mine. Come on. Come on, you bitch. He stopped. Okay, he's he was just turning. I hope you can just hit the mine with the front of the tank and... There we go. Okay, so he didn't kill it. 
Did they just spot me? No way did they spot me. Okay, so one mine will not kill a tank. So the stealthiness has just gone out the window for the moment, because we're just trying to kill a tank now. And it's hard to do that stealthily when um, there's a shitload of guards everywhere. You know, the tank is moving around so much and the distraction sound is not yeah, even in a good vantage point where you've got a good view on the tank. So the tank's staying still. I think maybe it's maybe it's the um, it's tracks, it's, you know, tread things, tires, whatever you call them, are busted. Maybe you can't move. If that's true, we can go behind the back of it and shoot um, the weak point. We need to go around a bit more. Okay, this looks like a good spot actually. Where is he? Has he moved? There he is. So that's what we need to shoot. So he shot it once. That's not enough to kill it. Shoot it again. Just gonna hammer it now, and then we'll then we'll reloc worry about relocating afterwards. So he needs he needs three shots, I think. It's the third shot. This one should get it. Yep. So it's well protected the gas canister. Gas tank. Panzer destroyed. Now let's get the fuck out of here. Here's the objective over there. So we're kind of escaping quite easily because... Oh, no, actually not. We've been captured. We've been spotted again. Let's just head around here. Oh, we escaped. Cool. Conveniently placed the... Um, obje objective. That was a messy mission near the end there because I just... I'm not familiar with tanks <laughs> and how to kill them as a sniper rifle shooter. So, um, yeah, we got the job done in the end. Alright, this is where I found out how well I did or how bad I did in that mission. So we got promoted. Didn't do any optional objectives. Once again, wasn't going for them. Total shot distance. That's my total shot. That's not my longest shot, is it? So we clear the path for the convoy now. We're going through, heading towards the POW camp. So um, next part we'll head towards the POW camp probably and find out more about this guy's um, secret project. So uh, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next part.